Oof. And we're getting grim. Yo, all right, everybody, we are here today checking out a little banger by the name of the Story of the Flood. And this one in particular caught my attention because of its very minimalistic yet dark, oppressive look. It reminded me a lot of, say, Limbo, Inside, a little bit of Far, Lone Sails, if you're familiar with that one. But it just seemed like a very oppressive little post-apocalyptic game. And this one in particular also had another level to it in that this is how the game describes itself. Gods decide to bring the flood of water upon the earth. As you can probably tell by the main menu. Salvage what you think is valuable and bring it back to base. It's a psychological test in the apocalypse. An interactive experiment in making choices. Even the gods were terrified at the flood. They fled to the highest heaven from it. I, I can't read the rest of it. <laughs> that went by really fast. Well, at least you guys get the chance to pause it and read at your own speed. I tried. So, here is our character. Apparently wearing little gas masks and everything. He kind of reminds me of the dudes from um, Dead Ahead Zombie Warfare. We have a box full of books. Alright, hold This will be your first choice. Do so we want to pick up books? Do we think that's going to be very important for us? I mean, knowledge and history is in books, right? If we are to eventually rebuild, it would be useful. Could there just be pornography in there too? I suppose it could be. That's good. Here we have a broken canvas. Do we take the broken canvas? It almost looks like a sail, so yes. Oh, it is. It makes me go a little bit faster. Could be useful in the future. Judgment Day is here. It's a body there. You can't see that dude's face. Tricky. Chill, chill. We got ourselves Leonardo da Vinci's famous painting, The Mona Lisa. You did just talk about history, right, Falcon? I did, but I got books ready. You know, I don't want to stock up on too much history. <laughs> I want to have a couple of different options as well. So we got a sail. We got books. What is this? Oil lamp. It actually sounds very useful. Yeah, I'm going to pick up the other lamp. Okay. We got three of five items, so we can only carry two more. Is that a dude back there? It is a dude. He's a prisoner. Do I want to pick up a prisoner? I mean... Looks like he's in a submarine. Here's the thing. It's a prisoner, so I'm not sure, you know... You know, the, the reason why this guy's a prisoner. Could be dangerous, but at the same time... Oh, right, we're, we're gone now. I think we could go back, though, can I? Yes. I like that there's a chance to actually roll back in this game, which is very cool. But no, I'm not picking you up. It's like, you know, I know you probably want another person in the apocalypse, probably. But it's also a gamble, isn't it? You know who you're dealing with? I'm gonna go with this. I, I got two more choices, I gotta make them count. And we're in a dark area now, and... Oh, we got a dog! You see, I'm glad that I, I, I decided to say no to the prisoner. You know what, if I'm companionship, give me the doggo instead. I hate humans anyway. It's fine. You know, humanity, who needs it, right? This dude and his dog in a post-apocalypse, it's all good. We have a box of diamonds. Is that really important to post-apocalypse? I'm gonna say no. Water purification device? What the hell is that thing in the upper... Yo, 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 that's a giant monster. That's a giant spider, I think. Even the dog barked. I think the dog's warning me. Is it scared of the light? Do you think that without the light, this thing would just snatch us up? I'm 100% sure that thing would have probably snatched us up without the light. Satellite receiver terminal. I mean, we can't carry any more items, is the problem. And I don't think we could get rid of anything else, so at least we made it past that spider, which I don't think that without the light would have been a possibility. So the light very important for one of our choices in the future. Assuming we roll this map again. There's scientists over there. Oh, I mean, that could have been very useful, right? Your boat is full. Can I like get rid of some things? Oh, you can. Okay, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. The book's out of here. Forget science. I need the scientist. Or forget history, I said. 
Okay, now we got scientists, we got Doggo, we got water purification, we have a sail, and we have the oil lamp. I like what we got here so far. What the hell is that, a dog? It looks like one of the models from the dogs in Elden Ring, dude. Alright, let's go forward. Nuclear bomb? Okay. Uh, I don't want to pick that up. <laughs> I don't think I want that. It's not going to blow up as I roll by it, right? No. Or do I want a nuclear bomb? No, I, I don't want a nuclear bomb. That's probably the reason why the, the gods flooded the earth to begin with. We couldn't stop killing each other. Alright. Oof. And we're getting grim. Toolbox. Toolbox sounds very useful. I'm gonna make an executive decision right now, straight up right now, and say that I think... What are the odds we get two events that we need the oil lamp at, right? What are the odds? Right? Right. So... Abandon oil lamp, take toolbox. Will I regret this down the line? It's a possibility. But right now I'm gonna say I think it's good to have tools for whatever reason. Plants. Operate stray dog? What does that mean? He's barking. <laughs> Scientists, what does it mean to operate you? Dots? Okay. What does it mean to operate the purification device? Both humans and animals need fresh water. Oh. By the way, um... I can understand hanging yourself because of the end of the world. This doesn't feel like it's something you could do to yourself. Like, I feel like we're rolling up in some really terrible place with actual degenerates that did this to people. And here we go. The cannibals want to make a deal with you for a broken engine. Guess who's got tools for a broken engine? <laughs> Exchange the scientist. I mean, the scientist in the post-apocalypse sounds very useful. But at the same time, I have tools that are meant for the engine. So what I could do is just exchange the scientist this run, find out what the engine does, and in the future we'll figure out whether it's important to have it or not, right? I mean, I'm sorry, scientists. I know you're very important, but this lets me experiment and figure out what the tools that we have are for, so I could tell in the future if it's an important item or not, so I will do it. So, now that we've done a terrible act, Toolbox Operate can be used to repair broken engines, okay? Power the engine. It's, is it powered? <laughs> I guess? I mean, it does seem like we're moving faster without even me. Oh yeah, we're moving a lot faster now. Okay. Bundle of flares. You know what? With the engine and me um, paddling, I don't think we need the canvas anymore for a little bit more speed, right? So I'm going to take these bundle of flares. Hold on. Um, abandon the broken canvas, yes. And pick up the flares. Okay. Yeah. Like, we lost a little bit of speed, but I think the engine makes up for the canvas that we were using for the, you know, sailing power. <gasps> oh, no! Um, is this something I, I need to be worried about? I, I don't know what that means for me. Do you think there was an item that we could have had? Oh no! That could have adversely affected us if... Okay, hold up. It's dark. Um, that didn't really... Oh, it did do something. Let me see a bit. But so is the thunder. Should I do another flare? I'm gonna do another flare. Bucket of fresh water. I mean... We have the purification device still, right? I mean, you, you'd imagine you could have a bucket of fresh water now 
Oh god, more darkness. Or you could have something that could purify water for you going forward in the future. What the hell is that thing right there? Is that a monster? That's a centipede. Oh! Oh, no, no, no. Oh, dog. What do we do? <gasps> no! Why, why'd he jump? Did he jump? Did he sacrifice himself for me? Is that what happened? Oh, God. I'm alone again. I gotta tell- I gotta be honest with you guys, I'm actually really enjoying this. Just, like, trying to, like, you know, in my mind figure out, like, all these calculations of what could be done with what, what could be used with what. I mean, there's no reason not to take the torch right now, just because we have an extra room. If we feel like we can get rid of it later, then we shall. Those flares didn't seem too useful, although, you know, if we need to alert somebody that we're around, it could be useful then. Oh man, the dog just dipping like that, literally. It's very sad. Is that a creature back there? It looks like a giant whale grinning at me. Message in the bottle? A bottle, okay. I kind of want this. Inner... Inner red dust. Alright. <gasps> oh, I'm off! No, I'm not. I mean, technically I am, but... This has got to push this forward. Did I make it to the base, or what? Um, that better be a moose. Seems like moose with, uh, little babies. A case of vodka! Oh, ho, ho. Now that's gonna be very useful in the post vodka. I'll take that. Matter of fact, I should find out right now. This makes you drunk. Apparently everything goes very neon when you drink vodka. I... Could have fooled me. It's never really happened to me, but hey. These are some mighty big bones, by the way. Like, I'm not sure if they're like whales or what, but those are mighty, mighty big bones. Well, uh, apparently we've hit some historic landmarks now as well. However, no such luck when it comes to actually um, using our vehicle for its purpose. Oh, we're, we've hit a wall. Is this it? We made it to the end? Oh. So, this dropped down when we hit the raft at that wall. What is happening? In case you're wondering, I did drink vodka because I, I I thought the game had glitched out on me or something. Because I was like, oh, there's something else to go there and just drink. This is a very annoying no noise, by the way. Okay. I think that might be the... Yes, you crumbling. I thought you might have maybe been the Statue of Liberty. It looked like kind of the framework from the... Legs up to the waist. Okay, if it means anything, it seems like we have a bit of a slope coming up. I hear dogs barking. Why? Wild dogs? Maybe sled dogs? <gasps> oh, it's not coming after me. <gasps> oh. oh. Those were the dogs that we saw in the foreground earlier in the run. Okay, now it's moving by itself, so I think uh, maybe we've reached the end. It seems to be a nuclear reactor.
Apparently, I have uh, reached ending one, the end. God builds a high wall, and people pray for the flood to recede. I feel like that was the most vanilla ending we could have gotten. Like, it leaves basically everything unanswered. So, like, you gotta do other runs with different items to probably proc new things. Or maybe now that we got this ending, now there's different branching things that happen depending on items you have. Day one, the big flood. Day three, prisoners seeking help. Taking the stray dog. Scientists in burning church. Cannibalism deal. Volcanic eruptions. Brave dog. Yeah, he did indeed um, kill himself for us. Death beast. Frozen continent remains. Hungry wild dogs and the end of the journey in day 19. Trip plug has now been saved. The epic of Gilgamesh states. God builds a high wall and people pray to the flood to recede. According to the Enneagram, you tend to be more of a loyalist, intelligent personality. This type of personality is cautious and quiet and adapts well to the environment. When viewed against the MBTI, you appear to be more of a logistian and architect. I can get behind that. I can get behind it. Well, there you guys have it. I'm going to wrap it up here for this one. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed. If you'd like to have me do another run, let me know. I definitely am intrigued by it. It's obviously more of a psychological test, but there's enough, like, you know, variables that kind of makes it very interesting as opposed to just essentially answering, like, you know, text questions. This you're kind of doing through, like, choices you make. So I do like that. And obviously the choices you make it have different outcomes. I mean, what happens if we don't have the fire by the time we meet the spider, right? What happens if we're in complete darkness then? So what happens if you don't trade the cannibal or trade with the cannibal still have the scientists? I'm very intrigued by it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it though. I'll catch you next time.